Hey guys, happy Tuesday and back to work day for most of us. I am, um, thank goodness I am working from home today because I am telling you my butt is dragging this morning. <laughs> I, it's not even like I didn't get any sleep or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm just so tired. I don't, I don't know why. I went to bed at a decent time last night. But, I don't know, it's like worse than a Monday because we had Monday off, I suppose. I don't know. So I'm here to change little Monroe because I want to take her out of this beautiful, adorable outfit that I love. Because it's raining, it's pouring outside. It's going to be raining the next couple of days and it's on the cooler side. So I do not want to leave her in something that's, you know, not warm. So I'm going to put her in a sleeper. Because that's generally, I mean, I last week I should say, normally I do put her back in the sleeper or something comfortable during the week. But I didn't do that last week. She stayed in that outfit all week. Um, but I'm feeling the need to change her and put her in something warm because it feels chilly to me today. Even though I adore that outfit, you guys. I love it. Love it. I believe it is my favorite. One of, one of my very favorites from this this season's um, line from Jacquardy. Um, So I'm just going to put a basic sleeper on her. It's a little next sleeper. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to, and I don't know why my voice is funky. I don't know. But um, I'm going to chat with you guys about um, <clears throat> something that I realized. <clears throat> I don't know what's with my voice, but um, sorry. So you know, from the last uh, couple of videos ago, I, I had, we, you know, most of you have probably seen the video, why stay in the hobby when, um, you know, it hurts so much because so much bad happens. And then, you know, my spin was, you know, I like to make it about the dolls and, you know, I'm not going to rehash that. But um, based on comments and things like that, I started thinking that, you know, what would be the alternative? Like, like imagine, imagine what it would be like if we didn't have social media suddenly. Like, would it be a possibility for us to be able to really enjoy the our dolls in the same way or as much if we didn't, if we weren't able to share them on social media? I think that as much as there are times where. I wish we could go back to a simpler time when social media wasn't so big like it is now. There's a huge part of me that really enjoys this aspect of being able to share this beautiful baby with you guys via through YouTube or on Facebook and Instagram or whatever. Like Those are places that we are able to share our love for these dolls. And it made me realize that I don't know if I would, I don't know if that would change how I enjoy my dolls. Like, I'd like to think that it wouldn't change how I feel about collecting, but I think it might alter it a little bit. Whether it be good or bad, I don't know, because, you know, clearly we don't have this problem of not having social media and the internet to you know, post pictures or share our dolls or make a video or what have you. And so, I don't know, it's kind of hard to really know for sure because, you know, back when I first started collecting, there there was no, you know, I mean, I've, I guess I've always shared my dolls in some capacity, like even if it's just a forum, but there was definitely not the social media aspect that there is now. So I think I've always had that option from as back as far as I can remember towards the beginning of my collecting because doll fans been around for a really, really, really long time, you guys. Longer than probably most realize. So I've always been able to like share my dolls, just not like I do now. And I've always enjoyed that part of it. I've always been, you know, looking forward to, you know, seeing what other people think of my new baby or someone sharing in the excitement and joy of my new baby, me getting a new baby and stuff like that. So I think that's always been a very important part of my collecting. I'm, I'm coming to realize this 
because I get thinking about it. Like if I really were to step back from all social media platforms, like would I really still enjoy Monroe like I do now? I mean, deep down I think yes, but it would just be different. It would be in a different capacity. It would be, I don't know, it would just be my own private enjoyment, of course, you know, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's one of those questions that's kind of baffling to me, which is why I'm chatting with you guys about it. Because thinking about like, you know, seeing collectors really completely disappear from all social media, I wonder, are they still collecting? Are they still enjoying their dolls and they're just enjoying them privately? Or did they, did they make them lose interest altogether and they no longer collect? That's what I wonder. I mean, dolls have been, have been such a big part of my life, like my whole entire life. I've, I've enjoyed baby dolls. Like my whole, as far back as I can remember, my whole life of being a child, a young child, I've always, I've always wanted baby dolls and loved baby dolls. So I, I don't think I will ever be the person that ever doesn't want to collect a doll of some sort. I mean, not, that's not to say that my, um, my urge for baby dolls might not change. Who knows? I mean, it's tough to say in the future, but I, I can, I can safely say that I don't think that I'll ever lose interest in dolls completely. Not ever. I just don't think that I would because I just have lo always loved them for my whole entire lifetime. I have always loved baby dolls and I think I always will. I think it's just me. It's part of me. If you were to ask my family members, they would say the same thing that I've just always loved baby dolls my whole life and babies. And you know, I've just always been a baby person. Um, so it's just, it's, it makes me think that's all it, it makes me think, which therefore I like to throw it out there for you guys and hear your feedback on it. Like what, what would that alternative life be like that life of collecting be like, if we didn't have like take away all of the social media, would we still enjoy our dolls the way we do now being able to share them and seeing other people's videos and things? Cause for me, I know it is a lot of my enjoyment really does come from, um, seeing other people's joy. Like, I'm not just saying that when I, when I talk about that in videos that I'm so happy to see others get their dream dolls. That's not me just, you know, filling, filling you guys with a bunch of crap. Like it, it really is truly a part of how I collect and what makes me happy about the hobby because I truly do think that that enhances my, it enhances my enjoyment of the hobby, seeing others happy. Now that sounds corny, but it really is very, me being honest, it's the truth. It is truly how I feel. And I'm actually going to put this gray headband on her because it's got gray. I'll show you when we're done. Um, but if I were to take away, back to what we're talking about, if I were to take away one big aspect of me seeing others happy with their babies and seeing who's getting who and bringing home what new baby. Um, if I were to take that excitement and joy out of, you know, my realm of collecting, I think that it would affect me if that makes sense. Because, you know, seeing someone else getting their dream baby or seeing one of my friends bringing home a new Claire Taylor baby, it makes me excited. It actually makes me want to pick Monroe up and enjoy her and spend time with her because it renews that um, feeling of excitement of a new doll for me, just seeing someone else get a doll. I hope that makes sense. So I think for me, the takeaway of this <laughs> is that I think it would truly affect me. I think it would affect my, my feelings of the hobby and my dolls, doll dolls, whoever I have at the time, if social media completely went away or I chose to leave social media altogether, I think it would ultimately um, affect, it would affect my collecting, I think for sure. I think it would definitely, there would be, I don't know. I don't think I'll never not collect, but I think that it would change how I, how I enjoy the hobby for sure. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. <laughs> this is like deep thinking on a Tuesday morning, right? So <laughs> it's just something I've been thinking about kind of all weekend. 
just based on um, other people's thoughts and comments on the last video, on a couple videos ago of mine. Yeah, I, I'm a deep thinker sometimes, guys. <laughs> but look at this sweet Carol. <laughs> I'm really liking these, these headbands. I think they're very sweet. And this is, like I said, this is a next sleeper. And um, this is a little keepsake. And it's got the little animals, the giraffe, the elephant, the zebra, stitched across the chest. And it's just this beautiful cream, basic sleeper. This is still one of my favorites. I've had it for a long time, probably about a year. But she wears it regularly, actually. But there she is today, guys. I just wanted to take a few minutes and make this video, start the week off, you know, with a video, why not? This is technically the start of my work week, you know, Tuesday. Thank goodness it'll be a short week. Although a lot of stuff, crazy stuff happens in the short week, it seems. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I hope you guys all have a great start to your work week if you're back to work. If you're still at home, lucky goo. And Monroe and I will see you all very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.